So with trailers and teasers releasing for Persona 5X, there has been a lot of excitement in the recent days regarding this upcoming title. So my stupid American ass decided that the best idea was to find a very complicated and convoluted way to sign up for this beta. So in today's video I will now describe the steps you need to take to sign up for this beta as a Westerner, and why if you're not a Chinese citizen, you honestly should just wait and not go through these steps. After that, I will show some little details that I have seen that I don't think any other content creators have covered that you can only access if you get past the sign up screen using a Chinese account. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So first thing you're going to want to do is navigate over to the website I have linked in the description. This website is the official page for Persona 5X, and it's pretty cool at showcasing the game. It's in Chinese, but you can use Chrome Auto Translate if you cannot read Mandarin to help understand what is being said, what they're showcasing, all the information they give. One asset that's not going to translate is the big button labeled Click. You're going to want to click that in order to sign up for this demo. Before getting into that though, there is a lot of cool information on this page, so if you're somebody that's really into Persona, this is a great way to get a good exposure of what's coming to this title and you know, get yourself more excited. But back to the giant click and the issues that it now connotates. When you click on it, you're going to have this screen pop up, and this screen is very easy to handle if you're Chinese. You're just going to enter your Chinese phone number. You're going to complete the captcha and then they're going to send you a confirmation code and you're just going to have to enter that into the screen if you're not chinese like me and well 99 percent of my viewers welcome to the part that's probably going to ruin you and end your ability to get into this game your initial thought may be i can just use those fake phone numbers on websites well i've tried a bunch of those and they don't work because of course they don't they're very easy to check and filter out and Persona has done its work in this regard to make sure us pesky Westerners get access to this title. So to get that number and be able to pass the sign-up stream, you're going to need an elaborate scheme. And for the safety of the people involved in my scheme, I'm not going to be sharing any details of how I did it. Just know that my fans are kind of interesting fellas at points. Now, you have this elaborate scheme, you have this plan to get past this, get your hands on a Chinese phone number, and get past the authentication screen. But even if you do, there is another issue. Maybe at the bottom of the sign-up screen is a clear message stating that the prize will be administered using this number. So even if you get your hands on a fake number, that fake number needs to exist long enough and be willing to comply with you long enough to message you back your winning code. There's a huge caveat I haven't mentioned yet. This all might already seem very daunting for a Westerner, because it is, but it gets worse, because the form doesn't grant you a guarantee to get the beta, rather it gives you a chance, as after getting past this authentication, you're going to have to fill out another form. I personally have no clue what's on that form. It might be honestly impossible for Westerners to fill out. It might have like required government IDs and stuff that just we don't have. That form is going to be needed for you to be chosen for the demo. And that's a huge issue, because if you're a Westerner, you can spend all this time, all this effort to get past that screen, get to this form, not be able to fill out, or even if you do fill it out, you can get all the questions correct, fill everything out perfectly, there's still a chance that you never touch that demo because they just might not choose you. And I would know because that's exactly what happened to me. The people I worked with tried to get me past this form, and it didn't work. In the end, I'm currently not going to be able to get the demo. The full game I can get, but that's a later on. So it's up to you now. You can try your luck, pull off this elaborate scheme, have a whole blown heist like you're some weird phantom thief or some shit, and you can get your hands on a Chinese phone and try your luck to complete this form and maybe even win the limited demo, you know, see if you can spin the wheel and hit the jackpot, or you can just wait for the game to either fully release in China, in which case all you're going to need is a Chinese account to access it, and it'll be a lot easier to get your hands on, or better yet, in a Western nation, so we can actually play it legit. Most likely Japan would be the Western nation in question. But if you're me and you've already done several steps to get yourself a Chinese gaming account, 
you actually have access to some stuff that I don't think I've seen Western YouTubers cover. And if they didn't cover it, it leads me to believe they don't have it. But if they do have it, I'm curious whether or not sharing it. So I'm just going to take a moment now to cover the cool little stuff you can get if you spent the time and the investment to get yourself a Chinese gaming account specifically for Persona. <laughs> so there's this little customer service page that is set up for Persona. It actually exists for all the games that use this service. Um, and it gives some information regarding the game and questions people have asked. It details that the game will only be available on Android and PC, that there will be no Apple port as of this moment, and that installation for the demo, at least, will be from the 10 o'clock on March 29th to 24 o'clock on March 31st, and that this download is going to be available on their main website. Overall, this is just their first demo. They said they plan more over time, and we're going to have to see how many demos, if it's easier to get into the later demos, if when full release happens, that's all stuff that we currently do not know. Not us, not the Chinese. Um, and to get a code from that beta, there are alternative methods than using the form. You, The easiest way, as I already said, you can log on to the official website of Persona Phantom of the Night. You can make an appointment, it says, in this place, which makes me even more worried because I was aware of a form, but appointment, that's not good for us Westerners. And you can fill out a recruitment questionnaire to have a chance to get an activation code. So I'm likely not getting that. The alternative method is you can follow the official website, WeChat official account, and Weibo other related activities, who will sometimes offer activities, giveaways, sweepstakes, to offer beta codes. The one I saw was on their official forums, and it offered if users participated, I think it was five days in a row on their forums, then they would get a chance to win a code for the game. But if you're American, I really doubt that Google Translate is going to be able to give you enough Chinese knowledge to be able to bullshit your way through those forums or bullshit your way through any other type of account on all these Chinese social media to actually get your hands on a code. So you're probably shit out of luck as a Westerner unless you're fluent in Chinese and you have all these social media accounts and you have the Chinese gaming account, at which point I don't think this all applies to you. Overall, that's all I've got for you. I'm not an official Persona content creator or anything. I don't make content on Persona, but since I did all the work here and I spent all this time trying to figure out how to get this game for myself, I figured I'd leave some warnings out for you all to see. If you all like stuff like this, I can show in the future videos more of the Chinese-only info on Persona and other titles that exists that I now have access to because I have a Chinese account for God knows why. So that could be fun. But until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.